Hello everyone, so in the previous video I showed you how to do a reflection but I realized that there's a better way to do it. So what we can do, so let's say we take this equation over here and we reflect it in the y-axis. So if we reflect something in the y-axis that means that for example if this dot's over here then it's going to go across or if we have this dot here it's going to go across or if we have this dot here it's going to go that way. So what happens is that the x value becomes the negative of what it was. So if we had an equation such as this, then we know that its turning point would be at 1 and minus 4. So an approximation of that graph could be something like that, where it turns at 1 and negative 4. If we then had to reflect that graph across the y-axis, well this dot would end up over here, and so it's coordinates would be minus 1 but its y value would still be minus 4. So to show this we can simply instead of changing the x value to a negative we can literally just say x plus 1 over here minus 4. Because if I had to give you this graph now we would know that this plus 1 means that the turning point is minus 1 and this part here would mean that the y value of the turning point is still negative 4. And so if we had to draw that graph it would be something like that. And so that's all that you need to do when reflecting across the y-axis. In the previous video, what I said is that you, and it's not wrong, but it's just, it's a lot easier to do it the way I'm showing you now in this video. I said that you should put a negative in front of the x value. But that doesn't really help us to work out what the new turning point is because that negative gets in the way.